Mendo. Mendo. Sorry. I've never had to say your name because not that I've ever been on the other end of this, but you're always the one doing the interview. That's okay. You call me a lot worse than that. I, I could. Um, I, I barely am watching you do this, so I'm a little nervous. Venue too. ACW ran here, Ring of Honors run here a couple times, so it's pretty cool to be in this building. It is, absolutely. I was surprised when I got here, I think I got here right at 4 o'clock when the doors opened, and when I walked in, there was already just lines everywhere. Yeah. So I yeah, was, meet and greet pretty popular. It, it definitely was pretty popular. I was really, not that I was surprised, I mean obviously there's some but we were definitely much faster than I was. <laughs> Well, obviously, everybody's looking forward to uh, the main event, IWC Tag Team Titles on the line, TME, Gannon Jones Jr., Duke Davis, probably the most dominant tag team on the independent scene that isn't signed to an exclusive contract, uh, and they're going to be defending the titles against Matt and Jeff Hardy, uh, perhaps the biggest tag team in the history of the business, depending on what side of the fence you lean on as far as fandom, but uh, of course, I, I have to be looking forward to that, but... Of course, I, I've sat in the stands here at this building many times. Uh, like I said, Ring of Honor ran here many times. Um, ECW back in the 90s. So to be able to be a part of the, you know, the show instead of being on the other side of the barricade, it's pretty cool. It's exciting. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and I think the main event, in the main event, for the biggest main event that I've seen in a long time, right? The irony there is, uh, yeah, it's really something. And I, I think this is definitely a game changer for them. Well, they say it's a game changer, obviously, in the other direction. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, so. Yeah, you have to feel that way, especially when you're walking into champions. Yes, of course. And they have that confidence. And they, they said that they called out the Hardys and the Hardys responded. So I don't know what kind of clout they have, but uh, I'm learning. Well, they have to step up now. Like you said, they were the ones that made the challenge. The Hardys accepted, so now it's time to put up or shut up for Gannon and Duke. And I, I, I've been with these guys on the road up and down for the last few uh, few years, probably four or five years. Yeah. I know they're ready to make the leap to the next stage. It's just all about opportunities. So uh, a big win over Matt and Jeff Hardy tonight would certainly give them that, that platform to make the next leap. So I know that it has been uh, really close to almost exactly five years since the main event has made their debut. Uh, I know that because almost exactly five years ago, I did my first game at uh, IWC at the Beaver Falls. And they, they were actually coming into IWC but hadn't done their first show yet. And I was so disappointed that they couldn't make their debut at Beaver Falls. It was literally the following show. So I was really disappointed because I had seen them before that, um, so I know they're right about five year mark. So you are definitely right there. Uh, that was uh, June, I believe. So sometime in the summer, I think. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So that's very, uh, very exciting for them that five years they've come so far. Four time champions as we speak. Yes. It's only gonna get better. So wonderful. I can't wait to see what happens.